until the person looks like Christ. That's the form of Christ in nature, in appearance. And you use the word more, it's from that word that we have morphology. It means nature, appearance. And the person looks like the same shape and nature of the person. And today that's not what we are doing in church. A lot of energy resources I think are spent in grooming church attendance. People who attend programs not inside. Programs, activities. And that's it is it is as as a child, when I mean one of the pastors. The next thing they are is the next one. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Eh? I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Eh? That's the next thing. Eh? So, when is the program? We are invited. That's the program we love. Then the next thing. So, the members have become program conscious. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But Coca Cola doesn't do program, they do process. They don't announce it. Amen. Praise the Lord. They are products. So, for you to have a product, you don't go through programs or events, it's a process. The church must come to, as a pastor, I must ask myself, what is the product of the ministry? The product of the ministry is to take a soul and to make it look like Christ. That's the product. If I don't do that program and I organize all manner of things and excite people and motivate them, make them to jump, do everything, give them, and they don't like other people. <laughs> That's why one of the speeches I saw many years ago that really frightened me was Matthew chapter 7. I've said it before, but it's 7, verse 23. He says, Verse 20, verse 23. Jesus Christ said, In the last day, in the last day, we did this, we did that. I don't know. In fact, only Lucas, Lucas chapter 7, verse 23. Lucas chapter 7, verse 23. What is the product? The thing of Paul, that's a lot of products. The thing of Paul. And I thought, this is what we come to know those things is by the grace of the thing of Paul is lemon. What the products? I think it's a boy. Good, look at it. Now look at it. These are the five old ministries in the church. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors. Four, look at it. Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go let us so our prophesying, our teaching, our church planting, everything we are doing must all get to us something. Our singing, our worship, our drama, our choreography, everything we are doing must have one thing at the back of our mind that we all come to the to be the knowledge of the Son of God up to keep it all that we are out. So I believe that prophetic, but it must bring people to peace. I believe in healing, but it must bring people to cry. So you shouldn't do healing and then leave the people. No, you are healed. The person who heals is crying. You need Christ. I want us to pray right now. I want us to pray right now. Right now. We need the church and help our energy and resources to be spent in producing Christ's life and let us be. Lord, help the church. I want you to pray for the body of Christ, not only this church. Lord, in the church. 
Let our resources, let our resources, our word, Lord, to be used in producing Christ's disciples, in investing in growth. Mighty power will help us, Lord. Blessed be your name. Help us the church. Help 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 the church. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. We now have this sound of a little bit of the and pastor's plan. And go back to Pastor Leslie so that I can tell you. I mean, what are you doing? This is less than seven days of the world. Challenge for you to ask this. You will not let people go to school. At the end of the day, they can read. Anybody, and why people cannot read? It impedes Christ and Discipline because reading is part of Discipline. So, what's all the truth? We may think it's not, you know, one day we are doing some, uh, we're doing some, uh, it, was, it was a discussion. It was it was a discussion we had in class about about the separate university. And do you know who brought education? Do you know who brought education? Do you know what brought education? What brought education was a Christian reform. The school system that we have today is not a um, on this screen. So when I saw that thing, I said, ah, this is Martin Luther. Martin Luther. Because Martin Luther read the book of Romans and gave the three conclusions. Only by faith. Only by faith. You know what Only by faith. Only by faith. Only by faith. Only by faith. And then wait. And then he gave the conclusion that for this thing that he has discovered eh, to be materialized, everybody must not be. So that's what the school system started. So that's why when you go everywhere, you see the Lutheran church, they have schools. I think there's some here. Yes. That's the reason. So that's, they have, so that's why they have to translate that. So Martin Luther said, this thing I'm talking about, people are living in ignorance. Why? Because they cannot read. So the, the aspect of reading is part of this argument. So what are you this argument in? Ah, post, post, what do you want? What is it? How do you know? Seven, you want? Seven, what? Seven percent of people can read. Or well, it's only seven percent of people can read. Seven percent of them is. Can I say you have to be That 27% of the only 7% of And if somebody cannot read and understand, if somebody cannot read and understand, how can he? You know the you know Barabas class. Sometimes they call that to be pentax. So, that's the good thing. He said, well, I said, that's right. But it's too hard to So, that is one thing. That is one thing. Now, what's the problem? It's just for bridge. It's English and English. Because we are reading Roman chapter. Roman chapter 4, we chat. Look at what we just read today. It's not something strange here yeah, that a child of 10 or 11 should understand. I mean, it's not easy. But why is not understanding? Not just yet. And it's not a strict in general. You see, the, uh, 
simple English. But the child cannot understand why? Because comprehension, basic comprehension, any person will not understand basic comprehension. Ah. Is it uh, what the South of members are told means and what? You know again. Right? And justification and righteousness. Then the child will understand. Don't give us understanding. Don't give us understanding. Praise the Lord. In church, another thing I saw is in Second Timothy chapter two, verse two. Let's look at it. Give me Second Timothy chapter two, verse two. The church has given up on making Christ like and transform itself. Why? Well, it's very easy to organize events. You know, event has to do with crowd. True. Manifestation. They are very important because they are. See, Christian events are there to make a statement to demonic powers. Yes, they are very, very important. When, when the, the voice of the MSC us together in one place and we do a very powerful program, it sends a signal to them. Praise the Lord. But we shouldn't stop them. So let's look at second picture of the Look at what Paul said. He said, The things, that was in the things, the things that you have. In fact, today I just sat down and then tried to analyze this. He said, The things that you have heard of me, the same things. So I I wanted to look at the middle of this word. What is it? Yeah, this word. This word for me means paratemai. Paratemai means in place beside the person to set it before him to teach him, to explain. That means Paul is saying that. Paul is saying that the things that you heard me teaching all this one. Eh? Place beside the people, it teach them, instruct them. That means don't just be saying it, though. but he said this word commit means that put them into their trusts. In paratite means what it means to set before them in teaching, explain it to them. This one he said commit them, in, explain it to them, explain, teach them. The things that you heard, the things that you heard, me say among many witnesses. So look at it. And, and, and you, the word, who shall be able to teach them is the word in that school. That is to hold to a discord in order to instruct. I mean, to instill doctrine into somebody. That means to have to take time to make sure the person understands it. This word. This word. It's not just teaching, though. It means to teach her to the person of the son. Committed. Fashion is a trust. That's what came the church in Europe. Look at the church in Europe. They just built plenty of cathedrals. Today, some of them have become tops. From what I want to do, I just put it on my hand. But those, the ones that have become uh, the most, I can't even watch it. But then I want to be outside. Everybody can continue. My hands. I don't know what happens to you, but sometimes I just speak to my hands. Praise the Lord. Wow. I can't see that. Some of the judges in the US, and the congregation, they have three boats and there was nobody. So they had to send it. What happened? You know, some person asked us, what happened? There was a discontinuity in Christ and Islam making. That's what we should play for our children. Any church that they have played their children's church, the teens' church, they have, they have aborted their future. That's what happened. So you see that? You see the church growing old? So you can imagine you have a check and they are all 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, and there are, are thousands of them. What does it mean? In the next 25 years or 10 years, you have no change. I was blessed by this scripture. He said, the things, that was it, the things. The things that you have heard, me among many witnesses, they see. 
the police the process put their charge set it before them in teaching explain it to them that's why we have the essay and explain it break it down till look at this till what they, are, they also are able to teach those things that's the way you know this 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 alone what or look at them what it was but what I know it goes for it goes for British it comes for sometimes the thing both the thing I said that it comes for it comes it comes for writing down breaking down the things that have been taught the doctrines so Paul may have taught a doctrine maybe one day he said please what we have to do we have to go and sit down and commit the explain it to them to faithful men faithful men means people who can be trusted <laughs> so that means it's not every everybody can come to church but there are some people who can be trusted with those things so that they can be able to teach other people if not <laughs> You know, last week, no, last week there was a coronation of the the British monarch. I don't know what is. And something happened. Something happened. Something happened that caught my attention. But when I saw it, I was saying, Is it the end of Christianity in prison? Do you know what happened in the program? Do you know what happened? Do you know who did the reading? Who did the reading? The reading is good and good. He's what? He's a Christian. And he, 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 the person who did everything was a leader. Why? Why well, not? But we are trying to appease and showcase the spiritual nature of Britain inside the church to the extent that a leader came to lead them as a revolution. All the others you can pick up. Wow. If they are Christians in the UK, they have the same as So you cannot come in the next how many years, maybe the, the next king. Now that like Hindus can read the liturgy, ah, they can become it. Some of the things that were given to the king for them to be put were given by what's the right thing? What what's the name of Ah, what wow. if we stop doing this? That's what we're doing. If we stop teaching, the LGBT, they have books written. That's all I'm happy for that video. We need to have money so that. Our books, we have schools and print down books, print books that must teach our people sexuality. We don't have, we don't have books on Christian sexuality. We don't have it. The religion had it. We don't have it. I'm doing that. I've said to the internet, we don't have it. We don't have it. The religion has it. That is, and they have readers, videos, cartoons. All that on why a man marry a woman, but we don't have things that will teach our children on their white family sexuality. So when they go to school, 
You will hear you and I that they really introduce it. They do that is day in the US. All, so if the US, if you're in the US, if you have any parents in the US, and the person doesn't have money to go to private school, and it's public school, that's what they're still doing. Then we go to the guy. You hear what I said? And they are the one bringing up the money. They can dictate on what to teach. Those are the things that you are children. That means your child goes to like maybe uh Abel goes to school and they tell them that that's their textbook. That is his textbook. Uh your father can be a, a man and your mother can be a man. When you grow up, you can decide to become what they want. That's what she did. And that is fake, and that is wrong. Say this So please, let's start a disciple making for the children. The things we are teaching our children. You know, give us understanding. I want to pray there on this picture. The things, the only thing, Lord, help us to be able to convince to our children the things we have received. What are the things we have received? You are receiving the word of God, then this the word of God. Help us to commit to them. Help us to commit to them. Begin to help us to be creative in commit to the children. The things, the things that we have received, the things that we have received, the things that we have received, help us to commit to be able to instill Father, we give you. Bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. When we pray, this thing came to my eyes. You know, they wish out this speech from me. No, 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 no. That's where we see the king. The duties on the king. You know what it is. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. You are sure what you like. What do you, what do you, what do you like? What, what do you become what? Come, come, tell me the truth. Don't lie. I mean, who are, who are the most men in you? Come and tell me the truth. Don't lie again. What do you watch? What was the impression? What do you like magic? No, I don't like magic. No, after watching it, do you like it? No. no. But what the lesson do you learn from this? The lesson I learned was like the guy was this money to do things that he wants to do. It is good. No. To them it's good, but with the word of God is not good. The word of God is good. Was he doing good with the money? Yes, Lord. So if you are if, if you are somebody who is if you are you are talking from the angle that you are already missing, if you are not a child of God, you will have liked it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all this thing. Oh, they, they make magic look good. Mm -hmm. So in the movie, they make magic look good and attractive. So whenever there's a problem, the king is being there's a plot against the king. Even whilst they're watching the movie, they are praying that Melin will come and use his magic to uncover the the, the plot. So they make wizard really look very, very attractive. You will wish you had powers to be able to do that. I wasn't. You know, what I was there. And then might be in there, I said. Don't tell me. Look at, look at the investment in the field. Quality sound. You think, I don't know how much they spend on that. You know, it's more money. Now, let's come to our side. Can we come out with this? That is pretty good justification for each other. So, Stop that Yeah, what is it? Sometimes I stop, but I went back to watch it. Yes, it is, you know. See, one day I went to visit somebody, and then the children were playing with these uh, uh, games. You know what it was? You know which class? But they are playing in games. And the child is playing a you know, my child is playing games. It's not game he's playing. Spoon, look at them all the time of the witchcraft games. 
That is it. So your child is matching Mary. They did not teach because Mary is using which which kind of spirit heads. So they are they are making some cartoons that paints men and men marrying as books. Now let me ask you a real time. Where are our cartoons of justification, atonements, of salvation? They need what are they? And thank God for that video he said. He said, because of poverty, our values can be suffered. The Christian values are suffered. I went to talk about my first thing, the this the UPS, the UPS. And you see the first thing. Yes. yes. What are they doing? Everybody is two business. Southern Arabia. The most has, I have seen that most of the Nima, Nima Jansu, who is Zitek. Our own, I don't see that whether it's bad or the six point. So, where are uh, how can we? Because what is happening with you? This one reminds me, it's only also the children. What can we do? Because we are teaching them. David and Goliath, all the same way. Look at what the world is in them. So, what are children come to church? They are just doing this thing. They are doing David and Goliath. They are very interested. The Lord help us. I said, The Lord help us. The Lord help us to convince. Give us the wisdom. So, I pray right now that the Lord will raise Christian young men. Who will come up with cartoons that will teach doctrines, the word of God, that will teach inside intimacy, the secret place, cartoons that will teach, that will, that will let children love the word of God. Amen. I, I've seen some of the cartoons. Is it super cool? Is it super cool? Super cool. 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 Super that, that should teach and instill the word of God. Source, words. Somebody's this. Second point of the four is three. Why should we be committed to disciple making? Because in this end time, one of the signs of the end time is people will hate correct doctrine, they will hate it. They will get something of the only opinion. Second, look at this. When a time will come when they will not endure sound of But after their own lusts, shall they hear themselves teachers have been teaching years. The word teaching years means desires to hear something pleasant. So that means in this end time, there will be teachers that will teach the people wrong things. Teachers, David, they have their syllabus, but they will teach the people evil things. I went to the, in one of the schools, and then one of the children, the child was, the child was reading some, is it some uh, magic book? Yeah? Was it a uh, magic, yeah? magic book? Magic book. And the child became possessed. I'm proceeding to the case of my notes. What was the aim of the system? S. System. Who is S? And the child was trying to. What, what is wrong with us? I think one child also was trying to tell them, but it's good. What is wrong with my What is wrong with that? Because they paint it as it's good. We have wizard, wizard, doing good things, saving people. Is that it? Yes. That's the way. So the child goes to know that witchcraft is good. Why? They have used a meaning 
still communicates. Even though you know, and we have sound of it, this Bible has sound of it. The coming of Christ, right? what again? The knowledge of our intimacy, we meditation. I pray over the youth who are computer literate, they will come out with, with cartoons that will teach the children how to do meditation, how to pray. Yes. Because the worst is Two days ago, I saw um, uh, Elon Musk with his new wife, right? So, father is in He's in the room of the room. <laughs> you want the richest man in the world. You know what it is. He has created an AI woman. Anyway, and you're not really talking about look at where they look at where they went to the robots. There's four, no, there's four. He said, They shall take their ears from the fruits. So the more in this end time, the more you speak the truth, you be hated. People we have each year. They don't want to be. They shall take their hands on the truth and shall be and shall pretend to fail. Fear us our stories, fiction, falsehoods. So the world were falsehoods, and then we are supposed to make disciples using the truth. So there's a challenge. We need to be able to repackage the truth, not changing the content, but to make it original for Two armies, the media and things. Yes. We'll do it, eh? Yes. 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 Amen. 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 So, you can remember that has coming books for children, hundreds on all topics on the internet. So, when the child dies, how to pray? There's something that has come, and then and then one figure will teach how to pray. Then we must feel the, the, the internet with the one word. The internet is filled with faithfulness. And, 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 and that's what it's teaching our children. If you know the things the children do, they are when we put uh, somewhere and they give one child to pass in law school. That is 14 years. We know the things the child can teach for. So I can stay on the internet from morning to evening. Some of the things the child can come in. You know, it's the university. The team the child has put in has launched. He says, he says ah, that one is very nasty. It's also that age. was afraid for the class for his name. So the team the child has watched, the child knows. You know, who gets it for that? But the internet is discipling you. The stick is here. I'm very sparse. So, this I beg you, man, who meets people? You know, I know you are very busy. I try. Take some time. Someday, you can. One of the ways to disciple is give people assignments. When we this one, please, when we get people, John chapter one, when we meet next time, we we'll talk about this. Then in church, 20 minutes, he said, okay, go and read the book of Romans chapter six. I want you to understand uh, baptism. I want you to understand salvation. When you go home, when you read Romans chapter one, I want you to understand salvation. Just wait. And he said, oh, Romans chapter one, it's too long, don't worry. It's too long. So he gets me from verse 20. The only kind of city that we are still to be salvation, the which is just in that. And you saw that. Like, so let's do it formally and informally. 
Anybody who reads the chest, so please come over. Anybody who reads, come over. I will help them. Do you know this? Do you see that gradually? Let's let's depart from only the aspect of the person must come to church. What do to people at the workplace? Let's do it formally and informally. Talk to them. My wife has a test of somebody that they decided for six years. Is it one of this? One of their relatives. The general just decided for six years. Oh, so I said 12 years. We are here in 12 years. 12 years. At the 12 years, she became a general. What are they doing? Coming every day. When they're coming. Today, I've seen that when the work nurse comes to your house, it doesn't matter the discussion. They have something. They have to do Standing with you, but we know that. That's the same thing. They are the one that knows how to do something with the institution. And we did that moment. They don't sign. They don't sign. They don't sign. They don't have, they don't have this. One day, they did a program at their studio. In the feed, the studio, everybody was surprised. They feed this. They sit down. And look at it. When they go to school, they are children. They are children. They, they, they are the best in English. Do you know what? Who got this Why? 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 No, I don't know if you have been as long as that. When you buy the one, that one's name. What I think about what I disclose to talk to you, all right? You, you, you must know it. Jesus Christ is not God. They will teach you why Jesus Christ is not God. Okay. Okay. You know, when, they, when they come and meet you, you don't know, think you will change your mind. Eh? Yes. And are you able to defend your your? That's a I remember when I got born again, I met this uh, Sabbath. Sabbath. Oh, Jesus. They changed my Bible. They changed my Bible. The scriptures of God. You have never met them again. They, they combated me. My head was doing like this. My head was shaking. And I remember I came to church. Then I met one brother, Fred Allen. Then you opened the Bible. What scripture? He delivered me. Let's read the scripture. Fred Allen. I will not forget. It is what work. Uh, I was so confused. Confused. Then when I came to church, I told Brother Allen, he laughs. He said, Hey, I opened the Bible. Hey, I opened the Bible. Let me read to you what he what, what he read to me. In case you have met them before, let me give the same thing. So that way you don't need to pick somebody's life. Pollution is up to my day. And I want it. Written for the two verse 16. That's what our brother means. He said, therefore, don't let anyone judge you by what he eats or drink. Or be regard to a religious festival or a new book for a summer day. These are the shadow of the things that were to come. The reality, however, is found in Christ. Oh, All the how many verses they used to bombard me. But I'll let you this one to cancel it. And you said, don't worry. So can you imagine if if I if I didn't meet the brother, but now I'm a uh, seven day something something. I'm going to But they give you push. solid teaching. What? Hey, the leader also grew up and then began to build it. So brother Len gave me this. The leader, I went myself. That is telling. I went myself and studied in chapter four. Because that's Hebrew chapter 4 that delivered the message of this program. Let's tell you stories. So what, what is Hebrew chapter 4? You can let me do it. Just do an example. Hebrew chapter 4, verse 1. It was that Hebrew chapter 4 that set him. So when I came to the university, one of my roommates was one of them. We were arguing. 
And I didn't, he didn't let that church be going because I was solid. Look at it. Look at it. Let us therefore fear least a promise being left us entry into his rest. Say rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. Verse 2. For unto us were the gospel preach as well as unto them. But the word preach did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that are in the For we which have believed do enter into that place. As he said, as I have sworn in my word, they shall enter into my rest. Although their works were finished before the foundation. So that rest is not a day, it's a rest. So I'm a Sabbath Christ. So the Sabbath in the Old Testament was just a picture of the rest. So if you don't deserve the book, we just get a little Somebody's blessed. Somebody is blessed. So they are all power of the chase. You know, one day somebody came to my house, all this idea, you know, idea, you all the people idea. The man came like us. He started, he started, he wanted to preach to me. He started saying, Open oh, no, up this. The uh, United Nations is an antichrist. He said, Oh, I'm going to go. He said, Oh, I'm going to go. That is all the possibility. I know what the gospel is, what you are preaching. You are preaching, you are preaching against a particular system or change. That's what the gospel The gospel of Christ. That's what you are preaching. And you are speaking seriously because that's what he's preaching. People have channels, TV channels, and that's what they are preaching. That's not the gospel. I know the gospel. So I enter into that. Let's go verse 4. Look at verse 4. The verse 4. Look at what he said. For he spoke in a certain place. Look at it. He spoke in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from his way. That's why. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Verse 6. See, therefore, it remained that sin. So see, therefore, it, it remained that sin must enter therein. And uh, sorry. See that why it revealed that some must enter there and they to whom it was first preached entered not because of unbelief. So that rest is not what God spoke someday by the seven day. No, it's Christ. Look at it, verse, verse 6, verse 7. Again, he limited a certain day, saying, Today, after, after, after so a long time, as it is said, today, if you hear his voice, hide not your heart. So one can be said for Jesus, for if Jesus has gone, if for if Jesus has given them rest, then we did not after what has given for another day. So the rest was not the seventh day. If not, you will not talk about another rest. Seventh day. The day of rest. The day you hear the voice. So you can make Monday. The day of rest is not a day in the best. This, this, this night. This night. There are men that for a rest. There are men that for a rest. The people of God. The state. For he that, for he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own ways. God's needs. So you see that the book of Hebrew was written for them because they had a challenge. It was really had to be explained. Verse 11. Verse 11. No, go to verse. Look at, look at verse 10. Look at how beautiful verse 10 is. Look at how beautiful. He said, For he that, for he that is entered into his rest. So look at Christ. That right. Verse 10. Good. Yes, he said, for he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, as God did from his. So when we enter in Christ, we have ceased from our works. The same way God sees from works and rest days. So we have entered in Christ, so we have ceased from labor 
Now enter in the happiness that every tomb of rest is Christ. Look at verse 11. He says, He says, He says, Let us therefore, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. Let every man fall after the same example of God. Verse 12. It says, For the word of God is quick and sharper than any two Piercing the divine astral of soul and spirit, but they join the marrow and the descender of the cross. So, when you enter into that place, you have access to the word of God and it destroys everything you can enter. So, you can enter. So, you have this in your spirit, in your soul. It was not possible. But, like this, I met a brother who sat with me down. So, that's why we need to know Christ himself and be able to. Our young people have questions. This I'm talk, talking about it was between a 16 and 19. It should be around a 16 and 17 because that was the time I was born. I then got confused because I met those people and the Baptist who me. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And with all manner of every with scripture that you open the Bible. So when I came to university, I met one of them. He nearly converted from that church to join. Because now our soul is teaches. So what must we do? What must we do? Somebody can say, Pastor, what do we start from? Uh, we start from where Christ we should start from. Start teaching people. To have a personal relationship with Christ. One of the things you should teach people start helping them to recognize the voice of God. One of the greatest teaching you can teach a Christian is for you to know the voice of the Lord, to know Christ. All these things, see, you see, all these things that he bring this, give this. No, we don't that. If the person knows Christ, can do this. Verse 1 of that, verse 15, he said, you have an anointing and you teach you the indwelling spirit. So what we should do in our disciple making is to teach people to have a personal relationship with God, to let them know God speaks to us. Okay. John 10, verse 4, he said, my sheep know my voice. And the voice of stranger, no, no, John 10, verse 4 and 5, my sheep know my voice. So when, when we lead people to Christ, let them know the voice of God. Let them know Christ. Let them have a personal relationship. It's one of the greatest things you can give to a child. So let's do that. And Sunday school, let's do that to our children. How do you hear the voice of God? Talk to the Lord. When I'm teaching people how to hear the voice of God, what is it? When you are praying, eh? Eh? Let me see if I can try to teach this one. The voice of God. What? He said, yeah, close your eyes. Let's pray. You can talk to the Lord. Say, Jesus, I love you. Save me. Save my mother. Bless my father. You are still a child of me. And then you see the child that as he's talking to God like this. God can also talk to him. So when you are talking to God, listen to the words you are giving him. Then I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the I pass. Come for me here. Then I pass. Number two, what can we do? What can we do? Help the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit help you to teach the people His word. That's one thing we can do. He said, "What the Holy Spirit come, He will teach us all this." So one of the way to teach, I pray that. That's going to be our portion. Let the Holy Ghost help you to teach everything. I pray that the Holy Ghost, you know, you know, the people in the world, there are some topics they don't hear about. They don't hear about atonement, justification, righteousness, they don't understand it. And last week I got, I got, and I got the revision of the righteousness of Christ. Do you know what it means? It means we are the righteousness of Christ. Do you know what it means? It means that when God sees you and I, He remembers the right things Christ has done as if you did it. Because we have the righteousness of God in Christ. So when God sees you and I, what He sees, 
He remembers what Christ did as if you did it. So what Christ did, it is as if you did it. What are some of the things Christ did? Christ died for us. Christ is interceding for us. Christ, Christ was crucified for us. Christ lost us. Christ has done so many things that pleases the Father. So when the Father sees you, he sees what Christ has done, not your ways. So things like I want you to do, to document it. So then we find a way of being able to communicate it. Well, I want to start a friend. Help us. This is okay. you should, you should, and then you should come up with a, a program on how to disciple the generation. Say it's a different generation. The world of people is different. Okay? Sometimes we say that, oh, they are difficult. They may not be difficult, but maybe they approach. We are using our 62, 1962 methods. It does not work. They are computer sub technological minded. We should be we should have a way of reaching out to those these people. Speak their language. How you know it? Should you be able to communicate to them the, the message of Christ? Like what I just I just I just told you right now in Romans chapter 4. How do we teach people? Eh? Then just me, try to get about this. Then, Pastor, I'm trying to get about this. How do we teach a child of 12 years how to enter into the rest of Christ? I was in, but you can teach the child through some topics that, you know, when you have worked for a long time, I was in, then at the end of the month, you have a salary, then now you can rest and enjoy. I was in, so when you come into Christ, you, you cease from your labor, you cease from pleasing God by doing the right thing. And then you accept that Christ has done all the things you're supposed to have done in this world. So what do you do? You accept Christ. So when you accept Christ, it's like what Christ has done, you have done it. So you don't labor for your salvation. You enter into the rest because Christ has already done it. We should be able to be creative enough. If we don't lose this generation, let's not do it. Let's give it. No efforts to communicate to this generation. Oh, the world. Help us to overcome every hindrance. Every hindrance to do. It's happening with the hindrance like the church being only few activities. Help us to know. Help us to 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 and I want to pray, Lord, help us to reach out. One, one of the things we have missed is that we are able to reach out. So, so they are children and there's something I can't I can say this. But some of the some of the practices people I think can sing with their with their wife in their rooms. More than when they men help us, help us, Lord. We cannot pray, Lord. Let us not lose this generation. Help us not to lose this generation. The strange, the Lord, you are the way. You are, you are the way. You are the way. You are the way. And you came to reveal grace and truth. Give us the grace to be able to. Package the truth, then you are full of grace. Give us that grace to be able to reach out. This year, in Jesus' name, now look at the latest thing that's happening. You know, every time I see some Jews, I need to ask, I need to think about the historical aspect of it. One of our ladies, you know, uh, is a social media 
as we thought, in the UN Brian. As I'm talking to you now, they have put a GPS name. And by the way, that's an idea. 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 That's I used to tell my wife that if we are not in the time is going to come to get a great boy to marry this country, it's difficult because all the young men will help us. Go to campus, all the Christian fellowship, you know who the leaders are? You know who the leaders are? Eh? Eh? Yes. In fact, what shocked me the most? Was Prince and Lego. That's why I said, 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 I I said, I said, I said, I all the way, sorry, forgive me. I'm not saying that women cannot be just one way. It's long way, it's supposed to be the pastor thing to make out. But you know, that is a change that traditionally the leadership is made. Please don't have to, I know people are coming to you. Yeah, but I love them. Now, I know that you can't be a woman and be a head of it. I mean, with that. Uh, when I heard it, do you know what? Maybe you know I cannot mention some African African company. There's some African company. So you want a man? Okay. So you, you could see when we went to Congo, we saw something like that. You could see a woman back manida, a woman back manida, their husband, something, some drunk, some drunk, like some very fast. And that's it. The rest of us are there's no husband. There's some companies, all the men, they are drunkards. This is my husband. This is my husband. <laughs> the same way we had a program, the girls, they get they get child to school. We should have a program. The boy child back to Christ home. I'm telling you. Anytime something I want, I walk home and I go and see the petty. Come and see all the young men there. They are petty. They are doing things that many years ago I saw it on TV. That was that, uh, that thing that goes on because it's real of country. Real of country. Real of country. Look, look, there's, there's another one that he goes and that's what they put some for the No, it's not real of country. There's. That's not okay. No, that's why it's, it's a number. It's a white people. Yeah. Uh, 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 what will permit you to give your life to Christ? Say, I mean, Lord, have mercy for me and me. And pray from your hearts. Have mercy, save me. Right, my name is Lord. You save the living God. In Jesus' name, I pray for you right now. And you see the Lord giving you any name in this world. Save the living God. In Jesus' name, I want to praise you. By this book, now, Lord, give me ideas, the wisdom. Give us the grace to be able to reach out to this generation. And make them Christ like disciples. Give us the wisdom, creativity, they are pushed. Let us say, Lord, give us the creativity, they are pushed. On how to reach out to this generation. Help us, Lord. Help us to reach out to more generation. They seem to be getting out of hand. And there is nothing that is impossible to do. Because in you is all the wisdom of God. You are the manifestation of the wisdom of God. And your wisdom is part of the wisdom of men. 
But I pray for nights that you don't, I pray not only for this church, but for the body of Christ in Ghana and the whole world that you grant the church the wisdom, the grace, the, the aptitude, the, the preparedness to reach out to this generation. Nobody has to take this from you. We are taking this as a body of Christ. As we take it, we take it on behalf of the whole body of Christ and ourselves. Blessings. I <laughs> And pass to reach out to his generation. He was so his friend, the ability, the grace, the wisdom, the ineptitude, the attitude, the capacity, the wisdom, the finance, the readiness to reach out to his generation. This vision will not be good. They will not sleep out of our hearts. They will not sleep out of our she says, Mount Zion is the desire of the nations. Make your church a desire. That you let the people in these nations of the world take their desires to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Savior, we give you glory. Our master, we thank you. Our God, we give you glory. The Almighty God, in Shaddai, in the Son, the Lord bless you. Let's go, Pastor. Let's go. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor. Hallelujah. So it tells us that we can't follow faith just because we can be guided by the things we see from the word of God. Hallelujah. Because the word of God is our light. As I talked about Ephesians 4 19, as I give all the interpretation that has been given to me, has been a lot of times. I think I saw that last year. It's wrong. I mean, the interpreting to be prayer. Uh, Galatians 4 19. Yeah, people, people, people see that they need to so when they are that that they need to scream first walk into Christ before in the first. It could be fast, but if you look at the context in which Paul was talking, he was talking about a group of people who had departed from what he had taught them, and he thought. They should have been established by now, but they are not. So it goes back to rehearse the things he had taught them with the mind that through that teaching and rehearsal, Christ will be formed in them. So yes, I'm, I'm surprised because I haven't had that before. We go for prayer meetings and we are traveling until Christ is formed in them. I'm saying, come. It's a part, yeah, but that's not what I was talking about in the Galatians. So what I'm trying to point to you is that, see, as Pastor has taught us, committed to faithful men who will teach to other people. If you just follow what people see without checking from the scripture yourself, you can easily be led astray. And that is how certain things have become traditions and cultures in the church. We practice them currently. So let us be diligent with the study of the word of God. Let's practice some of these things. 
what Pastor has told us, in my opinion, means that we have to look at our own processes and systems as a church and make amendments where we have to make amendments. Because if we don't align with the word of God, we'll not get to where we have to get to. People talk about visions. I mean, the vision God has given you. I tell people that my vision, the vision that I believe in is what Christ has taught us in Ephesians chapter 4. Any other thing you do, if it doesn't align, the pastor told us, you're on your own. Hallelujah. Let's remember that Christianity has a founder. The Bible says in Hebrews that he's the author and the finisher of our faith. He said that the father in John, he said the father doesn't judge anyone. That the father has committed all judgment to him. You must fear him. He's the one who is going to judge. It has been given to him. He judges. So if he tells you that is the way to go and you don't follow it, sorry for you. Hallelujah. Because God bless you, I'll touch my message. Shall we be on our feet? We are doing a YouTube, not not it was not a Zoom. Shall we shall we lift our voices and thank God for the word we have here? And shall we make up our minds as we thank the Lord? that these are things we are going to put into practice in our own lives. We are going to teach. We are going to reform the way we teach the children. We're going to encourage believers in Christians to get out of this mindset of just church, but extend it beyond church and begin to engage society begin to engage individuals, begin to engage through different things. Hallelujah. He talked about cartoons, he talked about writing books. Let's let's begin to let's pray that we'll begin to engage. Yeah. Father, thank you for your word. Lord, your word requires decisions and actions, not just emotional reactions. We ask in the name of Jesus, as we thank you for this light and illumination, we ask, oh God, as leaders, as members, as heads of families, as members belonging to society, will begin to align with your word and take steps and actions that are consistent with the mission and the vision of Christ for our world and our generation. Thank you for grace. Thank you for wisdom. We ask, oh God, that you quicken us in our bodies, that anyone that is weak in his body, in the name of Jesus, we speak strength. We command the devils responsible for ailments in the bodies of your people. Devils, we speak to you. These are the dwellings of God. We command your power broken. We speak to you, get out of their bodies. We speak to the bodies of the saints. We speak to you, bodies, you host the Lord himself. We command you to be healed. We command you to be alive. Any air organ, any cell, any tissue that is not consistent we declare that even by the voice of the God that quickens the dead, let life come into those parts of our bodies. Let them be aligned to God's will. In the name of Jesus, we declare that death has been abolished. Life and immortality has come to light through the gospel. And it is being administered in our bodies by the Spirit that quickens our mortal body. May the Spirit of Him that raised Jesus from the dead, who dwells in us, begin to quicken every organ, every cell, every tissue from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Let life be alive in our bodies in the name of Jesus. 
leading member of this commission that is sick, that is weak, that is infant, we speak life. We speak restoration of life. We speak completeness in health. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Shall we do the grace together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, his partnership, his participation, his transportation and communication be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.